Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to change the font on any web page you go to on Safari running iOS 16 today. So let's get started. Hey guys, so in order to change the font on any Safari web pages, first thing is go to Siri Shortcuts, go to Gallery, then Go up here till, till you see the Shushi shortcuts. Add change font. Now, first step done. Now, go into settings, shortcuts, advanced, allow running script. This uses JavaScript in order for it to work. Okay, sorry about that. Next thing is go to web page where your account has been fully signed out. I'll show you guys why here. Then go to share sheet. Now I'm going to hit edit actions and move this to the top, the change font up to the top. Make it easy for you guys to see. Now I'm going to hit change font. Then it gave me a list of fonts I can choose from. It's limited. I'm going to tap Zach Fino. Then here's what I was talking about. It will ask you if, you if it wants the web page to access like, sensitive information. But what I have learned here is for my last time when I tried the custom keyboards, as long as their account is signed out while doing this web page thing, then you're perfectly safe. But if you have a if you have a sensitive account signed in, like information like accounts like work, schools, and all that signed in, sign those out immediately before hitting allow. Since I've already done that, I'm gonna allow it. And you guys see now my font's changed. Just like that. When I click on it, most annoying thing is the font will change back. So then I have to go back to change font, hit it again. And just like that, the font has now changed. It doesn't matter like what type of wording it is. It's like an animation page for like lettering. No matter what you do, it'll still change. Just like this. It's really neat how it works, see? Just like that. Including all the text, except for the ones in the images. Just like that. Perfect. Now I'm gonna do another one. Also, if you go back, like do the back gesture, the page font will stay the same. It'll only change if you, if you reload it like this. Really annoying, actually, but still worth having the font. It's really cool. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do Wikipedia here. It's for a show that I've been keeping an eye on. Now I'm going to do it for here. Go to share sheet, change font. That Fino font. Allow. And just like that, I've allowed it. The reason I allowed it is because I, cause I actually signed out of all my accounts on the phone Safari app before doing this. That's why it's safe. But if you're signing, if you're signing to YouTube, Google, or any other sensitive site, sign out immediately before doing this. It's a lot safer. Or you guys can take the risk anyways. Signing out is optional. So if you guys can see it, change the entire fonts everywhere, right here, just like that. Now I'm gonna go to YouTube, but you guys can see I'm signed out of YouTube for this demo, just to be extra safe. Now I'm gonna go back to share sheet, change font. That Fino. Allow, just like that, the font's now changed, just like that. So the most interesting font I want to show you guys today is a font called Ornament font. See, Bondi Ornaments. Just like that, now I'm using an or Ornament font. Look at that, I'm not sure what exactly, how to, I'm not sure how to read that. It looks like it's a different language or something. Not sure, but you can use Ornaments to make a word. It's interesting, like, instead of using words, you use symbols like the Egyptian time. That's basically what you're doing here. So this is like Egyptian language. So where instead of using actual words, you like you use picture the symbols, basically like that. Now I'm gonna change it again for another one called chalk duster. Just like that, now it looks like a chalkboard font. Really neat. That's interesting actually. It'll work on any website, including the Apple release page. Let me make sure I'm signed out here. Yes, I am. So I had to go back just in case they try to do any info thing. Now I'm gonna go on to the change font again, that for you know. And just like that, Apple's developer page is now changed the font, just like that. It's really neat how this works. So this developer page doesn't ask you it because this page doesn't automatically, the reason why Apple's page did not ask me to allow it is because it, it signs you out right away for ad safety. So for web pages that do not sign you out or remember you, will ask you permission. For web pages that do sign you out, it doesn't remember you like Apple's does, 
it won't ask me permission. The permission is only there for sites that keep you signed in. That's why the permission is there, just like that. Now I'm going to do another font. Bonnie ornaments, just like that. That's actually really neat. Symbols instead of words. I'm not sure exactly how to read it, but it's, pretty, it's interesting. Now I'm going to do it one more time for chalk duster. And just like that, I'm now using chalkboard font. Just like that, it looks like a chalkboard now. It's interesting. All right, so that is how you change the font of any web page on iOS 16 today. This is pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give this a thumbs up. Peace out.